Hello traders, uh, today I'm going to explain about uh, how to place a stop loss uh, in Pi. Um, it's a very simple term that uh, you know everybody knows that is a stop loss, right? Um, so it's a it's an order for you to place. Uh, it's an order that you place so that you can uh, limit the losses, uh, whatever losses you perceive that can happen in the in your existing trade. You want to limit the loss. That's why you want to place a stop loss, right? So, <clears throat> uh, if your existing trade is a buy order, and the stop loss that you're placing for the existing buy order, uh, we call the stop loss as a selling stop loss. Uh, and the second thing is, if at all you're doing a short sell. So, you, if you're doing a short sell at uh, three thousand. Uh, you know 375 or 3380 as per this example uh, for of crude oil um, you're placing a stop loss uh, the stop loss that we place for an existing short selling order we call it as a buying stop loss all right so let me take an example of placing a stop loss for the existing buy order so the first thing i'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this and click on buy order. This is a crude oil April contract of uh, you know uh, in MCX as you can see. Just click on buy order. Uh, it's up to you whether you want to buy at limit price or market price. Remember this is the entry order. All right. So say I'm placing a buy order at 3379 and uh, product type will be normal. Order type is limit and I'm putting a price as 3379. And then I'll click on submit. It'll ask for confirmation. Click on yes. All right. This is the buy order. <clears throat> now we want to place a stop loss for this. How do you place a stop loss in Pi? What you need to do is right click on the order, click on the sell order entry. Okay. You may ask why I should click on the sell order entry because. Um, See, you have already bought it at around 3378. Now, say you want to take a, a loss of maximum of 8 rupees. Okay. So, by placing a stop loss at uh, 3370, you're actually agreeing to sell at a lower price than the price that you have bought it at. What I mean to say is, you have bought the crude oil contract at 3378. Now, if you put a stop loss at 3370, you're basically agreeing to. Uh, sell the contract with the loss of 8 rupees right that's why we call it as selling stop loss uh, now I'll click on sell order and I'll when I uh, product type has to be uh, same as a product type in which you have bought the uh, contract earlier uh, if you if you can remember we had initially bought the contract in NRML uh, now I'm going to place a, a stop loss in same product type which is NRML in the order type, I'll find two things uh, to place a stop loss. That is SL and SLM. Now, first of all, I'll explain about SLM. How to place a SLM order? Just you know, you, you know, go to the order type, and this you select SLM. As soon as and when I selected SLM, you could have easily observed that the price column becomes disabled, and only trigger price column will be enabled. So what this uh, uh, means is that <coughs> whatever you put as a trigger price, for example, I'm putting a trigger price as 3370. The analogy or the meaning of this is as and when the price reaches 3370, your stop loss will get triggered at, an, at or around the same price. The reason for this is we, uh, we are selecting a SLM okay stop loss market stop loss market means the system will wait for just the trigger to happen the trigger of 3370 once the trigger of 3370 is reached your stop loss will get triggered around the same uh, price because the system will send a market order to the exchange remember in SLM what will happen is once the trigger price is reached the system will send a market order to the exchange that's why we call it as a SLM order okay so I click on submit then 
SLM order will be placed and you can see that as a pending order in the order book. Now the thing with SLM is uh, if at all you, you know you have traded uh, before you would know that whenever you place a market order there's a possibility that the price may increase or decrease uh, abruptly that is right now the LTP is 3377 the price may suddenly fall to 33 uh, say 65 also it is possible especially on the days whenever we have a crude oil inventory or such uh, data those days you will find more volatility right um, <clears throat> So these things can happen. So um, uh, what you need to do is in such cases, you may uh, incur more losses, right? So what you need to do is instead of selecting SLM, you have an option of selecting SL. In SL, as in when I selected SL, you can see price and trigger price, both the columns have become enabled. Now what the beauty of the uh, SL order is that you can select a trigger price and a price what uh, um, as a trader this will help you in this following way what happen in a SL order is or a stop loss limit order is as and when the trigger uh, price of 3370 is reached whatever you put in as a price say it has to be always lesser than the trigger price okay so uh, let's say uh, I'm putting a price of 33 six eight as and when the trigger price of three three seven zero is reached the system will send a limit order to the exchange a limit order at three three six eight will be sent to the exchange okay so the advantage of this uh, SL order is um, even if the price jumps from suddenly uh, three three seven zero to three three six zero also your stop loss will be pending okay because uh, the best price will be 3368 being a seller so uh, even if the price jumps to 3360 uh, the stop loss will be intact it will not get triggered so uh, it's up to you what kind of SL uh, what kind of stop loss order you want to place whether you want to place SLM or whether you want to place SL it's up to you um, but I would suggest this so if at all you want to exist an order exit an order uh, which you already have it's better you better you use SLM order but if you were to enter an order uh, using a stop loss uh, which I'm going to make it clear to you in a while uh, in such cases also you can use in such cases you can use uh, SL not SLM this is what I suggest to you um, um, so the range of trigger price and price is up to you uh, what should be the range between trigger price and price but it has to be uh, sensible enough so that uh, uh, your requirements are fulfilled all right you should be a bit smart enough in selecting the uh, difference between trigger price and price for crude oil two rupees would be fine uh, for something like a base metal of uh, like a lead or alumini uh, i don't think uh, 2 rupees will be uh, you know 2 rupees will be too much that's what i believe because in a days in a day trade uh, i don't think uh, in, in general uh, you know the price may range about 3 or 4 rupees so um, it's better uh, not to use uh, Two rupees for base metals you can put around 30 paisa or 40 paisa that would make that would be fine now i also told you that uh, you can uh, use sl or slm for entering an order all right okay so i'm going to take another example uh, so that you go you don't get confused with the existing example okay so now i'm going to take say gold I am removing a crude oil from the market watch. Say so crude oil is right now trading at, sorry, uh, gold right now it's trading at 29,468. Uh, say your requirement is to short sell only when the price is below 29,000, 
465 that's what your requirement is uh, most of the traders do this mistake of um, clicking on sell order and putting limit selecting limit here and uh, selecting the price as 29,465 this is a wrong move because think yourself as a seller so if at all the current price is 29,468 and you're putting a price as 29,465 exchange will give you the best price that will be 29,468 so what you need to do is instead of selecting limit here you need to select SLM or SL it's up to you uh, what uh, order type you want to select if I were to do this trade I would always uh, select SL uh, because I don't want uh, the trigger to happen abruptly I want the trigger to happen only when uh, the price is between a particular range only then I want the tr trigger to happen so if I had to take this trade I will select the trigger price as 29,465 and price maybe uh, say I will enter 29,000 uh, 458 7 rupees for gold um, so you know even here uh, selecting the range between price and trigger price is a bit tricky uh, I just uh, put a value of 7 rupees uh, please be wise enough in selecting the um, trigger price and price so this is a trade wherein the LTP was 29,468 Okay, right now it has changed when we started uh, this uh, order form price was 29,468 and I wanted to short sell uh, when the price reached 29,465 and uh, price of uh, 29,458 okay I can submit this what this will do is once the trigger price of 29,465 is reached a limit sell order will be sent at 29,000 458 that's what the order will do and it will ensure that the order will get triggered only in this particular range all right so this is a brief explanation on uh, sl and slm order types hope uh, you enjoyed this video stay tuned for more videos thank you